Hey guys, so to continue with talking about favorite artists from the point of view of an artist, I am continuing with reading Kandinsky's book on the spiritual in art. And it's in French, so it's going very slowly, but I'm on chapter two and the sentence that really stood out to me from there, it's gonna get a little deep, but bear with me here is that we should be focusing a lot more on the what of a painting rather than the how. From what I've seen in the last dozen or so years that I've been in the business and studying um, is that we're so concerned with all of these different techniques like doing Mar Marilyn as a collage, doing Marilyn as a silkscreen, doing Marilyn as, you know, whatever appropriated version. But the what is missing a lot of times. And the artist that came to mind for me when I was reading this was Andy Goldsworthy. Andy Goldsworthy is an amazing earth artist who I have met when I was a student at Cornell. He came to do an installation in the fall season and did a talk. And what struck me about his work is that the what in his work is apparent right away. And the what in his work is about appreciating every single leaf out there and its uniqueness and every single rock and seeing what makes them different and what makes them work in unison and it is just so simple and so profound and makes us want to look a lot closer at this gorgeous world that we live in that it doesn't really require too much explanation. And I think that's what all art should be. It should be really apparent what the goal of the artist is as opposed to techniques and various ways of portraying the same thing. If you don't know Andy Goldsworthy, definitely look him up. He's a Scottish artist. Um, if you do and you have something to comment, would love to hear about it. And if there's anything else that you'd love for me to bring up, I'm happy to. I um, hope this was useful.